welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. I am feeling scared. So I've just come up miles and miles of little back roads, not seen a house or a car for ages. And then a little pine martin ran out in front of me in the road. I'll show you that in a sec. What's that on the side of the road? Look, 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 pine martin. Oh my God, they are really rare. So yeah, that, that jumped out in front of me, which was really cool. But then I'm here where I need to be. Well, I thought I was, but I've got a barn behind me. And I'll show you that properly in a second. But I don't know where the house is that I'm looking for. I think it's in the middle of the woods. So I'm going to have to get into these woods and they look dark. It's, it's literally pitch black in every direction. There's nothing. I can hear a river, I think, running in the distance. But that is it. The occasional owl, noises of animals, and bear doing whatever he's doing down there. So let's get looking. We'll have a look in this little barn first, and then we'll head up into the woods. Right, so the car is there. And this is a very old looking, ooh, there's bats flying out of it. A very old looking barn now. I'm only using the small torch at the moment. So we're not gonna get the full impact. It looks, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like an old church. Look at the windows on this. Huh? Why is there a toilet there? What a bizarre thing that is. Yeah, look, it's like church windows in here. I reckon this is an old, oh God, the bats are flying around like mad up there. I reckon this is an old church, you know. I don't think this is a, I don't think this is a, originally a barn. Although what is that bit all about there? That's like there was a door there or something. That's weird. Very weird, but they're all blocked up, look. There's windows all the way around. They're blocked up. How strange is that? And now it's full of hay bales. Right, let's head to wherever this house may be. Right, we're heading up round the church. Now, as far as I can see on the maps, it's in that direction, but look how thick these trees are. There must be a way through somehow. This is, this is bizarre. Oh, look. Look. I don't know whether it was a church or like a chapel or if it was just some sort of other building, but it's definitely not a normal barn, is it? Looking at it, that's weird. Right, maybe it's up here. This looks like it could have been some sort of drive, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, look, they're all the way around. How bizarre. There, come on. I don't know what you... Oh, what's that up there? What's this that's been chucked around the back? Oh, inside out tyres. Nothing exciting. Right. Weird. Come on. Now I am genuinely feeling a little bit scared because I'm so far from everything. I have sent people my locations before people start worrying. But even from Inverness, which is the nearest big town, it's a good 30, 40 minutes drive. And the people I've sent them to are like six hours away. So if I'm dead, I'm, there's nothing they can do about it. But it's the risk I've got to take for you guys. Right, so we've made our way up the hill. There's a wine bottle there that looks quite old or some sort of alcohol bottle. But I can't see any sign of this place. I don't know how far up here it is. Whether it's really close or some distance away. We have to have a look on the maps again. Right, according to the maps, it's about maybe quarter to half a mile away up through these woods in this direction. Now I do feel like there was some, look, there's some sort of path here. I feel like there is a 
the proper way through. Like this was a drive maybe once, or like the access point somehow. I don't know, but just listen. Let me turn the, let me turn this torch off and listen. There's nothing apart from bear making lots of noise. Why do you have to be so noisy, bear? Let's keep going this way. See what me and the dog can find. Right, go to the top of this hill. There appears to be a building, but it's not what we're looking for. This just looks like a little shack or shed. It's all a bit creepy, this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not loving this at the moment. I do like being scared. But then there's a limit. I feel I've maybe reached my limit with this. This, this is like a proper murder shack in it. This is like where you go to die in a horror film. It's all a bit freaky. Hey, oh, <gasps> look! How did I miss that? Oh, there's a moth in my ear. How did I miss that place? That is massive. Oh, I hope we can get in. It's pretty impressive. Bear, 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 bear. I wish you'd listen to me occasionally. Bear, are we going or what? Come on. Right, let's come round to the front of this place. Now, I don't know how easy it is to get in here. Look at it though. Oh, this place would have been amazing. Back in the day, look at the, look at the work on it. Look how big it is. Now this all matches up as well, doesn't it? To those down there. Look at the grand entrance as well. Oh, I hope we can get in. I can smell the damp of this place. I can smell it inside. I hope it's not being sealed up altogether because it's looking like it has at the moment. And that would be disappointing. I haven't tried the door. It's probably a good idea to do that first. Right, so there's no way in through the door. Look at that. That is so good. Like the work on there. With the big thistle look. I can hear a dog. Which is weird, because I don't know where the nearest building is. I didn't see any coming up. So... Go on then, bear, push your way through. What are you waiting for? Go on. Go on. I can't go anywhere until you shift. Now the problem with places like this is, it's a long, long drive to get to. And if I don't get in, I'm gonna be very disappointed because then it's a long, long drive to the next location I've got, which is probably a good, I don't know, hour and a half away through little windy back roads. Anyway, I better see what I'm doing. I can't actually see anything when I'm doing this at all. All I can see is my face and this torch. And it's a good job. I didn't just keep walking really, because look in here. We've got a way in. Now I am just gonna do one more thing. I'm just gonna check around the back of here because recently I've been going to these places, seeing a way in and just climbing in through that way and then finding out there's an open door around the other side. So I'm just checking that I've not missed anything before we go and climb back in through that window. I think it's possibly, you know, look, that's a door that's been sealed up. I think that's possibly the only way in. We'll have a look around this one last corner. Oh, this is where we were a minute ago though. No, it's not this way, Bear. Come on. Bear, this way. Come on. Come on, back this way. Good lad. Right, let's get ourselves in this place. Right, as you'll see, Bear's not got his camera on. And I'm not going to film it in here with him because I, I'm struggling with charging things because I'm in the staying in the car at the moment, sleeping in the car. So I'm struggling to get all his stuff charged up. And the most important thing to get charged is my torch and my camera. Right, are you gonna get in? Or am I just gonna stand here? 
Do you need a hand down? Is it hard to get? Oh, you're getting in a sink. Oh, good boy. I'm glad you didn't get in. I'll help you. That's my bad. I'm glad I didn't make him jump down. He's gone off that way anyway. Right, I'll get in now. I don't know if you can hear him. Well, you'll not be able to, but there's bats everywhere. So like in that other building, there was three or four fluttering round. And here, I can hear, I can hear loads. They're just going round and round and round. And now I'm struggling to get it. Oh God, give us a sec. This is the thing as well. Andy's very good at leg ups and, and I'm not, I don't bend properly. So getting through windows is an absolute nightmare without him here. There we go. We're up and we're in. Let's get down. Right, the room we've come straight into. I don't really know what it is because it's got a hatch there. A little mini Belfast sink there. Well, it's not really mini, it's a normal size Belfast sink. Holes in the floor. It's got another one of these, like we were looking at the other day, that's got the little ringer on the top and the tub at the bottom. So that's quite good that we've seen two of those quite recently. And then, I don't know what's through here. There's some quite... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Those stairs go to nowhere, which is a bit odd. I wonder if they've put a new floor in there or there's a bath up there because there seems to be copper pipes coming out from through it. Let's go in here. Bears off. Bears just don't care. I love this. That double Belfast sink is amazing. And actually, it's not as deep as I thought it would be because look how thick it is at the bottom. But it's not inside. So that must weigh a ton. An absolute ton, that's brilliant though. That's so good. Now it's very 1960s looking in here. This cooker definitely is like 60s, 70s, surely. Roast meter. Ooh, it's uh, this, God, the floor is, is not good. That is making some very weird creaky noises. Creda Starlight. That's another one that looks like 70s and 60s, maybe. Oh, look at this old Bell's bottle. That's that's quite an old one, looking at it. Not really old, but probably sits in line with the 60s, 70s thing. Bear, why are you running round? And why is the floor moving every time you move? Surely it can't be that weak, can it, if you're moving it? When's this from? This, oh my God, this floor is horrendously bad. Every move and I'm, it's moving with me. Oh, 19, 1989. 1st of September, 1989. What we're saying in here. Um, da -da -da. Acid rain in Europe from North America. Uh, let's have a look. Britoil fraud trial told Mafia would have got eight million pound caught. An erotic video may become first to be banned for blasphemy. Well, what are they doing? Sticking a cross up someone's fudge. That, that's the only thing I can think of. What else, how else could you get done for blasphemy? Where did he go then? Oh, he's there, he's there. Right, I don't know where to go. These floors are worrying me. Look at that in there. I don't even wanna know what Bear's doing in here. I don't know what this little room was for. Wood panelled room with little hangers on that look quite good. What's in there, Bear? Oh, there's a, there's like a dust pan. So yeah, all your cleaning stuff would have gone in here probably. Right, let's keep looking. I don't know whether to go this way or through the devastation that is, oh my Lord. When we say devastation, we may mean it. Oh dear, oh dearie dear. dear. Let's keep, where are you going now? You're into everything today, aren't you? Oh, look at it in there. I don't know if you can see this, the flies. There's flies all around it, loads of them. Millions of flies. So we a bear? You getting attacked by him? Right, 
let's go this way. I am going to try and get this way in a bit, I think. I don't know what's in there, but that's the ceiling. That's f Oh, but that's a door. Oh, that door must have come off there then. But it's all exposed. Look, this is the old original stone. Now, I actually do like that because it sort of shows its age a little bit, showing the old stone. Because a lot of these places, they spruced up and made to look amazing. And you can't always age them, but I think with that sort of stone, you can tell it's definitely got some age to it. This place, I don't know how it's how good it's going to be. It might be totally stripped out, but I like it because it's freaking me out a little bit. It's putting me on edge and it's making me trump. Right, let's keep going. Now, I know silly things like this don't probably interest most of you, but things like little cups like this, you just think, who was the last person that picked that up and used it? What's this? That's like something you use for panning for gold. What, what is that for? Is it just a sieve? It's like a homemade sieve. Because that's what reminds me of. Bear, what are you doing? Have you been upstairs? In fact, look at these stairs. Oh, that's good. There's flies everywhere. Oh, and dead birds. And I don't know what that is because it's not a pigeon. I'm not sure what bird that is. It almost looks a bit like a kestrel. But I, I, I can't tell from that. There's not enough bird left. Oh, look. This is August 1990. So, oh, Cirque du Soleil. Oh, what she, was she called? No, she was in Heartbeat here. Eh? She's got a funny name, like Neve something. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. So I reckon potentially the last time this was lived in was the late 80s, early 90s. Not sure. Anyway, moving through here. Oh, not a fan of that, of that fireplace. Oh, well, that's weird. I didn't expect there to be a bed in here. It's very small. Very low to the ground and very small. But yeah, look at the big archways here as well. They're good. But yeah, just on the ground floor, I wouldn't have expected that in here. But they would have had an amazing view out of these windows. Although, thinking about it, we're in the woods. However, it might not have been the woods then. There might have been a good view across the, like, the valley. I don't know. This is the thing. I sort of try and imagine what it would have looked like when the people lived here. Like, things change quite a lot. You've seen some of the abandoned buildings we've been to and seen photographs of them before and after. And it is crazy, the difference, in such a short period of time. So this is like 30 years ago. So half those trees might not have even been there. Now, I'm not sure what this is. It feels like it should move and it's got something hung on it. Is it for the fire? Is it to ring a servant? Or is it something to do with like the shutters on the windows? Because they had things like that for that as well. Look, there's one at each side. It's almost like it held something up. But I don't know what. I don't know what at all. Was it for a chandelier? Oh no, that's, that's definitely not a chandelier. I, I don't know what it could have been for, I'm not sure. I really don't know. I don't think it's the windows either. Oh, there is shutters on them, look. God, I wondered what that were I stood on then. Yeah, there is shutters on them. But I think they're probably just on clips somewhere. On fold out, I don't know where though. But yeah. I reckon, I don't know, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. I don't think it's for the windows, but I don't know if it, why would they have two? Just seems weird that there's two. That almost looks like a fake door as well. It's a bookcase. It feels like a fake door, but it would only go into this corridor anyway. So it, it's not for that. I don't know. Right, let's keep looking. Now this place is just, I, I feel like there's someone here. I haven't heard any bangs or any noises or anything. I just had a feeling there was somebody here when I got here. And I don't know why. This room looks good, like it would have been amazing at one point. Now, there's not a great deal in here now, but it would have been a big sitting room with a grand fireplace that's been destroyed. Look at that. 
oh, I think it's one of those horrible ones anyway, like it was next door, but originally it would have had a really nice fireplace in there before the 1970s tat was put in. In fact, probably 1950s tat was put in. So you'd have a big roaring fire for in winter. Oh, look, those things were there. So they definitely were for a reason to go into the wall. But, but what for? I'm not sure. I really don't know. And then you would have had big windows on two sides. So it would have been really light, bright and airy in here. It would have been a great room. And the ceilings, the ceilings are ridiculously high. Like the doors are big, look at this. So as I've told you before, I'm six foot. That's a good eight foot door at least. Eight and a half foot door. And then if you look, it's another two foot, no more, three foot to the ceiling. So you're talking about 11 foot, the ceilings in these places, it's really high. But it's great, what a room, what a place this would have been originally. So good. Now this is that grand entranceway that I tried the door when I came round. Now, obviously, it's looking like it's coming off the hinges down this side. When I pushed it, it felt like the whole door frame was gonna come out, but it would have opened from this side, but they've probably had to seal it up so it just doesn't fall out altogether. The whole thing doesn't just drop out. And then you've got, so you come in your main entrance and then you've got a stair straight in front of you and sort of like a reception area type place. I don't know what that would be for. Maybe umbrellas? If it was the other way up? I'm not quite sure what that is. And then we'll look in this room. This is another room with big windows and another fireplace that seems to have been ripped out on purpose. A little bit weird that these, yeah, these are slightly better as well, these fireplaces look. I don't know why they've been ripped out like that. And that looks like an old Victorian or just after 1900 mini fire surround there. And what animal that is? Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that with its talons. And then another animal, dead animal in there. They're all over, there's loads of them. Now the thing with this place is, the amount of like fake doors for cupboards, there's one there, I think is this, oh God, this is another one behind me here, look. And it seems like there's loads of exit out, exits out of the room, but they're just cupboards. It just seems a bit strange. Now this, these curtains definitely back up my theory of it being 60s, 70s. Look at the state of that. That is one bright, bright curtain. And there's a couple of them, obviously. But then this look, I don't know. I feel like there's something behind. Oh, bear. Oh my God, Bear, you scared me to death. You scared the absolute shite out of me then. That was horrendous, Bear. Why did he do that? What did you even do? <sighs> what a nightmare you are. Come on then, let's keep looking. And you scared yourself then as well, didn't you? Not just me. Now, one thing I didn't notice as we came and looked at the front door was this etched glass. And that's really nice as well, you know. I like that. It almost reminds me of like a, a saloon or an old pub window. Oh, but it's, look, it's themed. So if you remember at the front of the house, they've got the thistle and they've got it on there as well. So it's very fitting with a big Scottish mansion having a thistle entrance. It's so good. Right, what's up here? See, there's a bath and a toilet downstairs as well. Oh Lord, look at this floor. That surprises me, that there's a, a bath, oh God, a bathroom downstairs with a frying pan in it. Wait up, hey up, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm sorry that I've got a wire attached to me, but it's because I, I'm going to go out of charge otherwise, but I just almost went through that floor. But that's where we came in. 
Why the hell is there a hatch to the bath? Just in case you want your dinner in the bath. What the hell is that about? <laughs> Seriously though, what is that about? Now, do you reckon this used to be something else, this room? And then they've stuck a bath in it? Just all seems a bit weird to have a hatch to the kitchen. Well, not a kitchen even. It's just like a weird little room with a sink. And then you've got a, you've got a toilet there. So you sat on the toilet having a poo. And someone goes, do you want a cup of tea? And they pass you a cuppa through the window. It's all a bit weird, that. Just a bit odd. Now, I know we're going to get a lot of people saying, oh, this place needs saving. It's an amazing place. It's going to cost a fortune to fix this. Absolute. There. There. I had a weird noise then. There, just stop making noise. Sit, sit down. That's it, play dead. Listen. You just can't be quiet, can you? Why can I hear a clock ticking for a start? It's so hard when you're moving about. I'm gonna get murdered one of these days because I don't hear the person that's about to come and kill me. There's newspapers all the way up here, look. Oh, look. That's Prince Andrew. 1986, July the 24th, 1986. Andrew and Sarah, oh, it's there. It's like a special one when they got married, look. Fergie and Andrew, Scottish Daily Express. Hmm. I don't know whether she'd be so happy if she knew now, knew then what she knows now. But let's keep going out. Another massive window there, look. I always wonder with like these big royal scandals, especially when, or any scandal that's involving like a dodgy, a dodgy bloke. Did they, did the partners know? Were they in on it? Like surely when they're going off to this dodgy island, with whatever you were called, the dead one that apparently didn't commit suicide, someone else popped him off. Yeah, surely, if you disappear into his island for long periods of time and like there's photographs of you and young girls together, surely they must know, surely. I always think, are they in on it? Or don't they care? I don't know. Tell me what you think, Prince Andrew, hmm. Got to be careful, because I've just got to be careful. I don't want to wake up dead one day, because I've been bumped off by the royals. Oh, look. Look at the stairs up to the attic. They're very... Oh, it's my own torch. I scared myself then. Yeah, look. The stairs up to the attic there. Oh, what is happening here? Bear don't like it either. This bed's made up. Oh, well, not made up, but it's still there. This is the bit that's freaking me out. I don't know why. I just felt like there was somebody going to be in this room. I stood around that corner. Oh, look. These have got on as well. Is it for the flu on the fire? Is it, is it to open and shut the flu? I don't know, but why would there be two of them? Bear's, Bear's gone through there. Look at these mattresses there. Once again, they're 70s or 60s. So bright and colourful. I'm on edge. I'm not going to lie, I'm on edge. I don't know why all these covers and things like that just made me feel a bit weird. Nothing in the wardrobe, is there? Huh? God, Bear, sorry. I was hitting my head. No, there's nothing in there. I don't know why I'm really on edge again now. I think it's just from seeing beds like this. That are made up. Ready for someone to sleep in. Like, there's not a great deal in here other than that. There's a another fireplace. That's where we've just come from. But yeah, these are like maybe two children's beds. Look at the springs on them as well. I feel like somebody's maybe been sleeping here, look. 
because they look it looks like somebody could quite easily just come back here one day and, and have a sleep maybe we could sleep here tonight bear might be better than sleeping in the car anyway i don't think i could I'd, i would dare close my eyes in this place to be fair i don't know why but i'm getting like scooby-doo vibes tonight like they're going round a mansion trying to find someone and like when i go out of one door and go through another door like a scary monster comes out the other door and goes through another door and we don't we like keep missing each other that's how that's how i'm feeling my brain is like in overdrive today i don't know what is going on right what's in is that the top of the stairs so we've not been that room keeps freaking me out look once again making me fart with nerves oh i've got another little bathroom oh god oh that scared me even though it was me that did it it still scared me a little bath and toilet and sink a little brush come on bear you need to stay with me today i'm afraid This is where all the covers have come from. These are those big itchy wool things, aren't they? Look, all wool bal burney, made in Scotland. There's a pillow in there as well. We literally could stay in here tonight. If I'd got a signal, I could have done a live stream from in here. Bear, get off this glass. Move. about i don't know what it is but those piles of stuff there are just putting me about and it, is, it makes no sense what is happening right i sort of get the cupboards it's like a wardrobe so you put your stuff in there shut the door i don't know why you'd need to lock it but you'd shut the door but this makes no sense what why is there a door on it then there's a sink there it's not like you can shut the door that makes no sense at all. That's like the whole hatch to the to uh, bathroom situation again. Absolutely no thought went into that. It was like, yeah, let's keep the door on it. Absolute legend of an idea, that one. They've got about as much clue as Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen for designing these places. He were absolutely rubbish as well. I just think, <laughs> I just think they've taken a leaf out of his book to be fair. That freaked me out then as well, my own shadow in that. Well, I always that in the window behind me. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Right. You know, I said I haven't been hearing noises. Well, I've definitely just heard some noises coming from up there and I didn't like it. I'm leaving that till last. We can go up there last. Let's look at this side of the building then. What's in here? I think we've got some more beds that are made up in here, look. Or another one. What's the newspapers saying? I like looking at newspapers. I don't know why. Yeah, look, 1990 again. 12.25 net variable, the highest 90 day rate guaranteed for two years. I don't know what that's for. Um, let's have a look, what are you saying? Credit card rescues family holiday. Off to France. <laughs> Exciting, what a, what a front page story that is. Somebody's got a credit card and it saved the holiday. Amazing news. And then same again, look, another destroyed. It's like they're stripping it back. It's like somebody's trying to do something to this place and then stopped halfway through. It's a little bit like Coco Chanel's mansion, if I'm being honest. It's got that sort of vibe to it. Right, so now we've got the winder there that we keep looking at. Oh, and look, there's wires. And if I move that, they move. But then I've just noticed this up here. Is it a bell? Is it to ring for servants? Wait. No, it doesn't affect that one. I don't understand it. I don't understand what these are for. I'm really, really not sure. Strange though. 
I do like these plugs, um, not plugs, these switches. They're very like art deco -y. They're not just your standard switch. I like the sort of angles on them at the edge. It's really good. It's very art deco. Look at the carpet in here. Now this feels different in here. Oh, another little bed. This is a very small room compared to the rest. But I suppose we're under the stairs at the moment. But it's only got a little tiny window, whereas all the rest didn't. Now, doesn't that, this don't make sense. There's no handle on it. But doesn't that door go into the other room? I'm sure there was no door in that corner. Oh yeah, there was. I'm just going mental. Bear, shut up. Oh my God, what is that noise? Bear, shut up, sit down. Sit, sit. Someone else is here. Bear. I know I said play dead, but I think someone's here. I don't think you will have heard that noise because I could only just hear it. I'm not gonna lie. It's taking me everything I've got inside to go up these stairs. I don't know what that noise was. I am genuinely scared. I can hear it. But I don't know where it's coming from. Listen, listen. going about to hear it, it's so quiet, but it's like, mmm, mmm, people with earphones on, turn it, turn your earphones up in a minute and listen back, let me just stop a minute, can't hear it again now, right, the thing is if there is somewhere, There is someone up here, they're gonna get bitten by a bear. Even he's nervous, I think. I don't think the sound like sounded like it was coming from up here. It sounded like look how freaky that, that is. It's so warm up here. I'm sweating. This is freaky. Oh, rats, maybe. At least Bear will be able to tell me if there's somebody here. Mattresses from beds. Literally, all the hairs all over me are stood on end. or stupid but there's a big hole in the floor there I am quite a brave person I will go and look rather than run away like a lot of people will just run away freaking hell bear don't do that to me look at this this is like out of a bleeding horror film it's just a big hole there Yeah, I am. I 
I'd say I'm quite brave, a brave person. I will always, that, that's a good fireplace. I will always go and look rather than run, which I don't know whether it's a very good idea or not. But I am genuinely a bit petrified, <laughs> a bit petrified. That was like, can you imagine somebody falling down and hurting themselves? And they're like moaning, like they've hurt themselves. That's what it sounds like. Like, if someone was pretending to be a ghost, like, uh, uh, that's what it sounds like. And I'm hoping you can hear it on there. I don't think you're gonna be able to though. And I, I don't want you to think that I'm making it up. I'm genuinely, genuinely pooing my pants at the moment. <laughs> Proper pooing my pants. That is one thing when there's me and Andy here, and we can stop and listen and try and work things out between us. But there is literally just me. What is that got? What is in there? What is happening there? Bear, come back here. What's this? A little toilet. And there will have been a sink on there. Oh, wait a minute. It goes around this corner. Watch out, Bear. This is where I, I don't like it because I don't want someone to shut that door in a minute. Oh, that's just a water tank or something in there. Right. Oh, bear. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I've got a little freaky made up bed in here as well. Look at that. Look at that window. Look at the cobwebs on that window and the dirt. So noisy and I can't hear anything. Yeah, that little bed. It's quite cool to be fair, quite like that. Bear. Please just sit. Sit. He just doesn't do anything, I tell him. Bear. Sit down. Good boy. Now I can't hear that noise up here. So if what are you getting scared of now? So if they were up here, we'd hear them. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, these are those things, look. These are the wires that lead up to like a lever system. It's gotta be for bells or something up to the, these are with the servants quarters, won't they? So they will have pulled those and they would have probably rung a bell up here. Oh, oh, there's another handle there. All a bit weird, isn't it? All a bit strange. Yeah, look. Very weird. It's got to be for a bell. Bear, don't go jumping down there, please. Come on, out. Out, bear. Go, oh, boy. Right. Let's go further back this way. I just do not feel right in this place at all. I didn't have a proper look in here because of the floor. There's nothing in here though. Let's keep going further around. We've not looked at the other side here. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't know what that is. It looks like some sort of thick. <gasps> Friggin' hell bear. I thought you were right back up there. I thought that was someone coming out of that cupboard. I pulled my pants. Well, there's a, just a skeleton with feet sticking up there. I proper pulled my pants then, Bear. You're worse for me than, you're not even helping me, you're making me more scared. Can't hear that noise. These are the last two rooms. There's a little bed there. I know people are going to be saying, check under the beds, check under the beds. But I'm not. I can't hear it out that window either, so it's not something from outside. I am going to 
prove myself in a minute. I literally am. This is the last room. Just another floral mattress. Right. Going downstairs. Oh, I'm guessing I'm going first then, Bear, yeah? I'm worrying what those noises were. If we were doing any sort of normal explore, I would think it was some other explorers or some teenagers winding me up. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. There is no way anyone can be here unless they're actually staying in this building. So that is why I am more freaked out than normal. I don't know whether to just whiz round and check every room again. I don't know. Now I first heard the noise when I was here. All I can hear is bear. It's so annoying when he's clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap. Can't hear anything. I really hope it shows up on camera. I really don't think it's gonna though. I really, really hope it does. like a click or a bang. Bear stood behind me so it's not him. Can't hear anything. Like old houses do creak and make noises, I get that. I know that from experience, but they don't moan. something there because you're looking there what is it is there somebody here is somebody here there you can hear something can't you oh no don't start barking because that means there is somebody here Stairs. My God, he's looking as well. There, who is it? Oh my God, man! Don't do this to me. Somebody here? Hello? I don't like saying hello when I'm, because if, I don't like it. <laughs> Shall we just go back downstairs and see if we can find them? Because I think there is someone here. I'm not gonna lie, I think there is. <sighs> Bear, can you hear someone or are you just being weird? Going downstairs. What are you looking at that wall for? Going down. Come on then. What have you picked up on? What can you hear? Because you would just normally run straight down these stairs and you stood there looking. What is it? Go find them. Go on. There's a bat. There's a big fat bat. Oh, bear. What are 
is it there? Oh my God, he never barks unless there's somebody here. It could just be the bat, but I don't think it is. Have you heard, Bear? Oh my God, Bear, don't do this to me. He's looking out the front door and barking. There. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here quick. Was it this way? Yeah, it was this way, Bear. Go on. What are you looking in there for? They're not in the bathroom. Although that is through to the exit where we've just come in. Come on. There. This way. It scared me then because I thought that's where we'd come in. But actually... Came in through here. This is ridiculous. Right. Let's just get out. I'm nervous to get out of this window. Bear's just here next to me. But I'm not looking forward to it. This is the moment. I'm going out the window. It's the most ideal to whack you over the head because there's nothing I can do about it. Bear, don't start barking again, please. Don't do this to me. Right, I'm getting out. Right, I'm out. Poor Bear Boy's not there. Come on, Bear. Come on, let's get you. There we go. Oh, that's a boy. Oh no, you've nicked me wire again. Come here. Right, Bear. What are you looking for? Come on, let's go. Let's get around the front of the building again. Oh, this is this is proper freaked me out and put me on edge. I've got to go through those woods yet. I'm leaving camera on and torch on while we do this bit. Thing is, I would put it down to my imagination if it was like one bang, one noise, but it was a constant moaning, weird, murmuring, horrible noise. I don't like it. I just feel like someone's gonna jump out at any moment. to be fair. Bear, come on. Stay with me. Oh God, and the moon shining through the trees up there as well. I don't want to turn my back on anything, that's the problem. Oh, look at that. It's a big crest up there. Oh. Coat of arms. Oh, this is freaking me out. I don't know whether I'm I'm literally every little noise now. Oh God! And then I fell down on home. But every little noise is making me jump. Just the creak of every tree. Bear? Rabbits? Hello? Hello? 
just warning you, if there is somebody there, you're likely to get bitten by the dog. So just let me know if there's somebody there and I'll stick him on his lead. But it's down to you. If not, I don't know if you heard that noise then. There's definitely some movement up here then. There, have they gone back round there? That's where I've just come from, that direction. Just warning you, like I said, if there's somebody here, my dog will bite you and I don't want him to bite you. So just tell me if you're here, please. My God, it's so worse that there's nobody here. Because what the hell with that noise? Right, come on. Let's get back to the car as quick as we can, better please. Right, we're back at the barn slash church. Which means we're back at the car. Oh god, babe, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Babe, babe, come here. Come here. Come here. I need to put you on your lead. Sit. safely back in the car <sighs> genuinely scared now last week there was somebody in the cells with me and i knew they were there i could hear them i could hear them moving about I could hear them laughing and so obviously i knew somebody was there this there was no torches there was no like footprint footsteps there was just that noise and then like a bang here and there but nothing like nobody running away. So like when we came downstairs, if it had been somebody playing a prank, I would have heard them running away, unless they were just hiding somewhere. But I did stick my head in every, every room as we came back downstairs. So I just don't know, but I didn't like that. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed the video because it has stressed me out, something rotten. I feel horrendous, I feel sweaty and horrible. And I had a nice shower this morning in that leisure center. And now I just feel like a stinking, horrible mess again. Right, so I was supposed to be sleeping in my car there tonight, like down the track where it was. Absolutely no chance because we got in the car, I gave Bear some food, he settled down to go and eat it, and then started going mad, barking at the window, looking up, and I have just literally put my foot down, got the fuck out of there, and I am, I am going further away. I'm like, look, I know I don't wear grey t-shirts normally, but look at the sweat on me. I am sweating. I know that's where my backpack's been, but my back is wet through. I was scared. When does Bear go mad like that? The only time he barks is when somebody's there. I am not, I am not kidding you. I was so scared when he started barking. Fucking hell, fire. <laughs> I've just seen something moving in my back windscreen. It's my back windscreen wiper. That scares me. I'm going. Right, I'll see you later before I die.